What's up guys? All right, my hair is not as amazing today, but I just wanted to check in and uh, talk about another topic. But first, I want to thank all of you for your support um, with me making these videos and I hope that they will help some of you and what I have learned can, you know, transfer to you and somehow help you with your goals. But um, also thank you to Tyler, who's been trying to get me to make these videos for a really long time. And I am just very reluctant because I actually do not like talking on camera at all. Somehow I can stand on stage in like a sparkly bikini and like no clothes, but this is terrifying. So thank you all for your support. Uh, today I wanted to talk about something that I realized um, has been key to my success throughout my life. Now, when I was young, I didn't really realize that it was happening, but it was indeed happening. And as I've gotten older and more present in what I'm trying to achieve and what I'm doing, I recognize how important it truly is. And that is the importance of blocking out voices and having blocking out too many voices in your head. So that's what I'm going to talk about today is learning which um, voices to let in and learning which voices to block out. So this has become increasingly difficult for people in today's day and age with social media and just the media having such a profound um, impact on how we view the world, how we view each other, how we view ourselves. So especially for kids, it would be tough being a kid this day and age. Anyways, when I was young, obviously we didn't have all this and I actually did not have social media until about three or four years ago. So this is kind of new to me, but what I realized made me so successful when I was young and I translated kind of unknowingly as I've gotten older um, is blocking out voices out of my head. <laughs> so that sounds weird, but when you are trying to reach any goal, the best, most key thing that you have and need to keep is momentum. Once you lose momentum towards any goal, that is where, you know, you start second guessing yourself start slowing down, losing confidence, et cetera, et cetera. Now we are all kind of a reflection of what is around us. We don't exist like alone. We are social creatures. So everything we're letting into our head has some impact on us. We all like to think we're strong and confident and whatever we do have, you know, our own concept of self and what that means and what it is, but it's constantly evolving and being shaped by those around us. So blocking out voices around you that are not appropriate to your goals can be huge. Now, when I was young and even into my adulthood, as I was a police officer and things like that, um, I kind of had a built in system of that. I was always really goal oriented. I played college soccer. I played, you know, tackle football, et cetera, et cetera, with some success. So um, throughout my life, you know, this team environment and just having people around me that are oriented towards the same goal and coaches and teachers and my parents and Eli, who has been with me since I was 18 years old, you know, I've just had only these positive influ influences around me and inside my head. Once negative voices start getting into our head, we lose momentum. So everybody knows that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Now, if we are here, here we are, we're confident, we're going towards our goal. Maybe this is a fitness goal. We've decided and set out a plan. I'm gonna do this diet, I'm gonna do this exercise, and we're headed towards it. Now, when we have different voices and different things via social media or the media or whatever coming in, we get slightly knocked off course and we can really, you know, take a zigzaggy path, which success always looks a little bit like that, but we are going to be all over the map. And, you know, when you let these voices in, some of them can be great, but some of them can really detract from your goal because we need all of our positive energy to be moving in one direction. And the more we're letting voices in, a lot of times that's the thing too with social media we don't these people don't have a vested interest in us and we live in a day and age where everybody has a voice and everybody has an opinion and i don't know about you but growing up i certainly learned that opinions are like belly buttons everybody has one some of them are cooler than others and some of them aren't but you're always going to look around you're going to find an opinion if you want it about what you're doing and the more opinions you let in the less confident you sometimes become towards your goal and what it is that you believe. You start kind of second guessing yourself and thinking, yeah, maybe they are right. When reality is that if we just put our heads down and just go, we are so much more successful at what we do. And Tyler and I talk about that a lot with clients and stuff like that. Like, um, just let in the voices that are there on your team. You know, maybe you're, you have friends around you. Maybe they have a limited voice in other ways. But if you have a goal, put your head down and only let those voices in 
that match with what you're doing. That's the other thing I've seen across my life. Even as a cop, oh my goodness, people would get themselves in so much trouble. These are grown-ups because they have friends or just people around them and voices in their head that don't belong there and they forget that they have the option to cut off these voices. Like they can come in, but we don't need to let them into the space in our brain that is trying to accomplish something. That self-assuredness and that confidence is gonna help you reach your goal. So if you have friends around you or even family that are not conducive to what it is that you're trying to do or social media, for heaven's sakes, if I am not you know, in line with your values or your belief system or whatever, switch me off. We all have that opportunity. And if somebody does not have a vested interest in you getting better, you can't rely on their opinion as something that is gold. That's the thing, everybody has a voice now. So be careful the voices you let inside your head. Make sure those around you that you know are given consideration <laughs> as to opinions and things like that are ones that are looking out for you. And when you find those people that are looking out for you, you better hold them near and dear because they're the ones that are gonna push you to succeed time and time again. So that's kind of what I have. Thank you very much for watching again and for uh, yeah, just being encouraging to me doing this because it is quite a task. I would rather, you know, probably run into a, a, a burning that's a burning building and you know where people are firing guns and uh, and or get tackled by some monstrous linebacker or uh, stand on a stage in a sparkly bikini than do this. So thank you guys for your support and please let me know, um, share this if it is helpful maybe to somebody else and let me know if there are topics you want me to talk about. I would love to help in any way I can. So I will talk to you guys later and thanks again.